Welcome back to Focused Hands. It's been a been a little bit of time. I uh, took a couple of of days to kind of uh, reassess. You know, just uh, losing Pluto. Uh, I appreciate all of the uh, words of wisdom and well wishing uh, to everyone out here. If you haven't, I suggest you go watch it. You know, you get to see see uh, one of the mascots of the channel. Uh, really miss him all right so as the title says today we're going to be working on properly fitting this throttle body so to put it on you don't it won't fit it needs to be turned this way uh picture the 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 throttle body or the intake manifold like this right and you want this iac to be over here uh we have to and why we're doing the video today we have to notch out one of these brass rings let me get all this stuff out of here turn this around so we have to notch out one of these brass rings which you see here all right uh turn this around so we have to notch out, out this one of these brass here. rings uh, which you and see let me here. show you what we're going to be knocking uh, it out and with. i believe Stay we're going to be knocking out all right so i'm going to use a uh one fourth driver or 0.25 driver uh to notch out so when you flip this over right this is where your uh cables need to go on the focus so obviously this is the profile you need to have it in uh this uh brass ring here once you flip it over is going to be on this side now here is a word of caution this brass ring is inserted into this really flimsy plastic uh, or ABS plastic. This thing, if if you have a 04, 05, 06, 07 focus, uh, it's gone through many heat cycles. So you need to be careful of that, uh, otherwise you'll snap it. And courtesy of Project Jasmine's video, uh, here's a picture showing you what not to do. So yeah, let's not do that. And uh, let's attempt to do this i'm gonna try to sit it down somewhere over here to where i'm only getting a little bit of an edge and i'm supporting the back side of the abs plastic here and just notching out the brass ring so i'm going to try to do that without breaking this plastic because i mean throttle bodies aren't cheap so let's get focused Okay, so the idea is that I'll use the uh, 20 ton press uh, to press this out. I'm trying to get you in a, in a good spot where you can see. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit here. So I got this tool that will be pressing on this brass ring and pushing it down, hopefully it does this without snapping the brass ring or snapping the plastic off. Uh, I have got the plastic kind of touching a bit of this uh, corner here. Uh, let me zoom you out a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about. This plastic is touching the corner of whatever this you know plate is sitting on so that it gives it a little bit of support. Uh, I really want all of the, I guess, force on to the brass ring to push it downward and not onto the uh, corner of the of the plastic, which would you know essentially cause it to crack under the weight of the 20 ton press. So in theory, this seems like it'll work. Uh, let's find out what happens in practice, shall we? I don't like this coach. <laughs> I don't like this one bit. All right, so shifting back to idea number one, using this uh, half inch, excuse me, quarter inch uh, tool here, I'm going to lightly use this dead blow hammer, a 45 ounce dead blow hammer, kind of catty corner this on that corner and lightly tap at this um, and then get all this stuff off of the table. So let's try this. Sit it there and just barely. Just.
right, so idea number three. I'm gonna take this drill here and drill a hole in this piece of wood so that uh, the bolt can actually, or the uh, brass ring can actually drop down into the hole without hitting, you know, the the wood and causing it not to fall out. So let me actually get a bit that's a little bit smaller than this because this is a little bit too big. All right, so this five eighths ought to do it. So let's drill a hole and we'll move on. I would say that that's plenty. So now we got, got the hole and this bit will fit right over the hole like so. So I can just tap on it without it flexing. I think that's the best plan. All right, let's take this in here. I'm not getting any movement out of it whatsoever. I think I need to step up my game here. Let me grab the uh, nine pounder. All right, so I got the nine pounder here. We're gonna attempt the same thing very carefully. Getting on that bad boy and just Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. That's pretty skittish there. I just really don't, really don't like that. Don't like the way that's doing that. Uh, another idea of mine I have is to uh, drill this out and kind of watch the corners. So I think I might take that up. Stay focused. All right, so I got my bit. I'm gonna stick it in that hole and drill it out. And hopefully it pops so I don't have to do a lot of work. But uh, let's do it. All right, so my phone fully dies. I wanna let you bring you in on this. I uh, finally got it to where I can peel out this inner race. I guess now it's kind of like a race. Let's get around it, pop it out. Uh, that thing, when you look inside of it, uh, it has like some grooves that really keep it from coming out. Like it's really locked in there. So pressing it out is probably the best option. Hammering it out probably won't get it out because of how it sits in with these little grooves here. Um, at least on my version, you can't really tell, but maybe you can, let me see if I can focus it a little bit. You might be able to see it right there, but there's little grooves in here that locks that race in and you, it's really hard to get it out. Let me see if I can show it from the race itself or from the brass, that right there. So that really keeps it from moving. So I really had to drill it out and that for me was the easiest way to get it out. So now I'm going to take this to the bench. All right, so we're going through all the work to get out that uh, uh, brass ring here. And this is gonna go on the throttle body itself. I cleaned it up so it looks a lot better and got the gasket back in. All right, so we now need to try to fit this adapter uh, because this is the Mazda CX-7. Um, uh, intake manifold. All right, so um, here's part of the issue. So I'm gonna show you a picture of a form on how you actually install this now. Okay, so 
how they installed it uh, was like this. But you see the problem, right? The problem with installing the adapter in this configuration is that in any instance, you're going to hit the EGR here. So installing it this way won't work. You cannot install it this way because the uh, throttle body cables need to go somewhere over here. Uh, so this configuration won't work. The only configuration in which the, the throttle body adapter uh, on a 2005 to 2007 Ford Focus will work would be in this configuration. This is the only way it's going to work that I've seen um, because uh, this is the only this is the only room it has to clear. Another thing that I found interesting, let me just put this over here and I'll show you. All right, for those that don't know, this is the IAC. And uh, the IAC is supposed to fit right here under like that. Well, I mean, if you could see it, it'd be good. It's supposed to fit right here. And if I take these two units over to this part, the IAC fits where it's supposed to. Uh, but the catch is, the catch is with the IAC like this, you cannot get the throttle body on. The throttle body can't line up. So either way, even if you take out the race, the brass ring, I keep calling the race, uh, your configuration in this setup will not work on a 2005 through 2007 Ford Focus. I don't know about the 04s. Um, I think they were doing like a SVT, so the spacing is a little different, so it could fit in this configuration. And our focus is, well, I mean, if you have a focus like mine, the only configuration in which you can install this is in the downward configuration, like I said earlier. You know, install it like this. And that's what we're gonna do now, so you can see it. Stay focused. All right, so you wanna install the throttle body adapter on your CX-7 or Fusion or whatever you're using, if you're using a 2.5 uh, liter manifold. Um, there's three bolts you want, uh, two long ones and one of these short ones. Uh, and what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna place it on here. Let's make sure we get all the, anything dirty out of there. These four screws here, one, uh, one two, and three are the ones we're gonna use. We're not gonna use this screw uh, because this needs to go for the throttle body. So I'm gonna line it up, put the screw through to the hole, and screw one of them in. And you wanna make sure that you get everything aligned because it's gonna be important in the next step. So just you know, get a couple threads in if you have a T30, uh, this will work for these two screws, but you need an Allen wrench for this one. Nice and snug. Be careful not to drop anything into here. All right, so for the, the short screw, it's gonna go down here. I'm gonna take a uh, Allen key Carefully slide it in. All right, give it a little snug. Eh. That's all you need. Let me get, let me get one more in eh in there. Eh. Let's go back and this one. Eh. And this one. Eh. Okay. Now, for the moment of why we make this video is to install this bit. Um, I, I've installed this before and I've installed it with one of these bolts missing. And the reason why 
uh, one of these bolts were missing is because if you don't take out the race on one of these locations, and it's usually uh, I, I picked, I chose this location, uh, but I'm, I pretty sure that you can choose any one. Um, your you will not be able to put all four bolts in the location because it'll be caddy corner a little bit, and the the brass ring just won't allow you to line this up. So for this section, you need a long bolt, and wherever you did your your drill out. Uh, so I chose this section because it has the longest spot for this bolt to go or the, the widest spot for this bolt to go. It needs to travel. So stick this in its home and let it go all the way down, right? So that's there and I'll make sure I line it up. Take another bolt here with, uh, with a washer or a screw with a washer. And let's go down here and line it up. Like so. And then we'll take another screw over here. Line it up. I need to find that last screw. And you can. It allows you, with that race missing, to wiggle this around a bit, which is what you need to get all four of these in. Boom. So now you can get in all four, and we'll tighten them down. T30. All right. And there you have it got the install done you got the four screws that could go in there due to this race uh, being pressed out or drilled out um, I didn't have any luck pressing it out I had to drill it out so your results may vary uh, and now you have enough room here to clear the uh, the throttle body or the EGR um, you may be, be able to set it this way, but there may be something here that's in the way, maybe the transmission or whatnot. So you have to get these two together uh, to see if you can fit this on in this look in this location. I think I had it like this in the last video. So the problems, the problems with this throttle body, if I go over here and rotate you, is that... Uh, there is no location to mount the uh, cables through because, you know, on your focus, your cables go through a little bracket. You go through a little bracket like this, right? Uh, and there's nowhere to mount this up here. So, effectively, you can't really use your cables on here there's not enough room uh, and nowhere to mount this if you have the dual uh, intake manifold running controls like I have on the 2.3 that I want to take over there's nowhere to mount either of those up here uh, I believe that uh, Esslinger makes a uh, mount for specific specifically for the focus uh, that we could use. Now, uh, I will say that the throttle body adapter, which I'll show you right now, the throttle body adapter that they make is really expensive. However, it helps with uh, two things. It helps with the IAC location, since it's internal, uh, and it helps with the link up for the cables. So it's, it's almost like a direct bolt on uh, for this whole thing here. So you don't have, it has a smaller profile. It, get, it deletes having the IAC because it's built internal. And you get the location for your cables to go because it has a built in bracket. 
Uh, is it worth the $481? That's left to be seen and up to you if it is or not. Um, but I might look at that as an alternative to to this. Uh, but uh, if you're savvy enough, you could make a bracket that fits for this uh, and or, like I said, see if uh, Esslinger has the bracket set just for the cables. And I think they might. Um, but if you know something about that, you know, shoot me a message down in the comment section uh, with a link to that video. Um, and I can broadcast it for everybody. So people have nowhere to go. Uh, so that's it. That's it for, for this episode. It's just uh, seeing, you know, how to install this throttle body adapter and the problems that go with installation of the throttle body adapter. Uh, the, the D23 to D25 conversion is not as straightforward as, you know, some people make it seem. There are some things like this you got to figure out um, because this is important. It's part of the big four. Air is part of the reason your engine won't start if you have a massive air leak, or it could start and run terribly if you have a massive air leak. Um, so you got to get this part figured out. Otherwise, it won't it won't really run right. So uh, hope this helps anyone that's uh, trying to install this and really frustrated that they can't get the bolts to line up. Um, to go over it again, you got to drill out the one of these locations where the race is. Uh, then you install your bolts onto the throttle body uh, in three locations, one, two, and three. And then you go ahead and install your bolts with washers, one, two, three, and four. This being the longest spot for the longest bolt. Uh, got a lot of travel, a lot of travel room uh, right here. And you can see the bolt almost sticks out a little bit on the back end uh, right there with the washer. And you essentially have a functioning throttle body conversion from a 2.3 to a 2.5. Uh, that's pretty cool. Well, so if you like this kind of content, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Um, I really appreciate it. And the channel really appreciates you watching. It kind of helps us. Uh, keep these videos moving. And uh, with that said, I will see you all in the next episode. Peace.